So this is the house where the guy lives who took my money. This is it. That's what my money pays for. It does actually make me very angry. I would have bought a house too, I would have put a deposit on the house. Now I'm stuck renting for the rest of my life. He took everything I had. I lost a lifetime's worth of savings. I was so ashamed and so embarrassed. It was sort of eating away at me. I had to look at how I was going to recover mentally and emotionally so I could continue my life. Nobody seems to have been held accountable. A lot of investors have lost money. Where has it gone? Thousands of people put their savings in the hands of a company that offered them a comfortable retirement. This development does not exist. This looks like where the site should have been yeah. built. Yeah. And there's nothing here, there's just a car park. They haven't even started building it yet. This is where your pension money should have been invested. It yeah. should have been invested in this site, on this car park, on this land. Every year, a billion pounds is lost in failed investment schemes. This is the story of one of them. On a very personal level, I went to tell my wife I lost this money. It sent me to a mentally dark place. Now those who lost their precious savings are setting out to discover the truth about the people they trusted with their money. It's very odd that they should make quite a significant payment, over £2 million, to a company based in Gibraltar. I've been doing everything I can to try and get some of this money back. You could just roll over and take it and say, oh, it's gone. But the more investigating we do, the more we're uncovering. To have a Facebook page with your picture alongside the Wolf of Wall Street, not sure what planet this guy's on. They want to know why they're having to fight to get their money back, because others didn't do enough to protect them. The regulators have failed. We want to know why it happened, who is responsible for it. I would fight till my last breath to make sure that we get justice. I'm not going to let them get away with it. No way. 